There are two different ways that you can connect your devices to the internet. You can either connect your devices wirelessly using a Wi-Fi connection, or you can provide them with a wired connection to the internet using an ethernet cable. I'll have to confess my curiosity got the best of me and I wanted to find out which connection type provided a faster connection to the internet. In this episode from Network From Home, I'll detail my experiment and my findings with you, and I'll also talk about what this means for you in your home network. For this experiment, I grabbed a Cat6 Ethernet cable that I could use to connect my laptop to my router in order to run a wired speed test. For the wireless speed test, I used the 5G Wi-Fi network in my home that's being broadcast from my router. For the first part of this experiment, I stood right next to my router and performed two different speed tests. The first was with that 5G Wi-Fi connection. I stood next to my router to ensure that I had a strong Wi-Fi signal and I performed a speed test. Immediately after that, I ran another speed test, except this time it was using that Cat6 Ethernet cable to connect my laptop and my router. In these speed tests, I found quite similar results. With the wired speed test, I got about 600 megabits per second. And then when I ran the Wi-Fi speed test, I got 515 megabits per second. So pretty similar results there. Not a big difference when it comes to determining which connection provides a faster internet speed. Before jumping to any conclusions here, what I did is I took this experiment one step further. The next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to test if these results would be similar if I was standing further away from my router and I maybe didn't have as strong as a Wi-Fi signal. So what I did is I stood about 15 feet away from my router and I ran these tests again. I ran a wired speed test and I also ran a Wi-Fi speed test right after it. To be quite honest with you, the results were quite shocking. In the wired speed test, I got 574 megabits per second of internet speed. But in the wireless speed test using Wi-Fi, I only got 164 megabits per second. Although the results were quite similar for the wired speed tests, when I was standing next to my router and when I was 15 feet away from it, the same can't be said for the wireless speed tests using Wi-Fi. There was a 350 megabit per second drop off between when I was standing next to my router and then when I was 15 feet away from it. So this begs the question, what exactly is going on here? Why don't I have similar results like I had with my wired internet connection? What's happening here is in a Wi-Fi internet connection, your router is wirelessly sending information to your device and your device is wirelessly sending information back. The reason that this 15 foot difference between the two speed tests has such a big impact on your wireless internet speed is due to the fact that when this information is being sent over the air, there's a lot more opportunity for those Wi-Fi signals, those wireless signals to get obstructed, to get blocked, and overall to reduce that Wi-Fi signal. When you have a reduced Wi-Fi signal, your router and your device aren't able to communicate as effectively. This results in a drop of internet bandwidth. This is exactly what we're talking about here in the speed tests that I ran. The bottom line is Wi-Fi connections when compared to ethernet cable connections, they present a lot more opportunities for obstruction. Wi-Fi signals don't travel very well through walls, through water and plumbing, if there's any of that between your device and your router, it's going to impact your Wi-Fi signal. On top of that, there could be other devices in the area that interfere with or affect that Wi-Fi signal as well. Another thing that I found when running these experiments is that wired internet connections present a lot less delay when processing internet information when compared to Wi-Fi connections. When standing right next to my router and running these speed tests, the wired internet connection presented only 36 milliseconds of delay, while on the other hand, the Wi-Fi connection presented 39 milliseconds of delay. And I know what you might be saying. We're only talking about a three millisecond difference here between the wired and Wi-Fi connection, but let's hold our horses for a second. Let's take a look at the results when I was 15 feet away from my router. 
with a wired internet connection, I only saw 32 milliseconds of delay. Whereas on the other hand, the Wi-Fi connection had 57 milliseconds of delay when processing internet information. So as you can see, very similar to the internet speed difference we saw when I was next to my router and further away from it, the same thing applies with Wi-Fi when it comes to this latency or delay that we measured here in the speed tests. When connecting my device to the router with an ethernet cable, however, we saw that the latency was very similar in both instances, 32 milliseconds and 36 milliseconds. So regardless of the distance from the router, there wasn't a big change in the delay of processing internet information. If you'd like a detailed explanation on why a Wi-Fi connection has more delay than a wired internet connection, I've recently detailed this in a video that talks about whether or not you should use an ethernet cable when you're online gaming. So what can I conclude from my experiments that I ran here? The first is that an ethernet connection almost always provides a faster internet connection when compared to Wi-Fi. On top of that, ethernet connections to the internet also provide less delay when it comes to processing internet packets. These results are only exaggerated the further away you move from your router and the weaker your Wi-Fi signal is. So some main takeaways here, when should you be prioritizing using an ethernet cable to connect to the internet as opposed to using Wi-Fi? Well, first and foremost, if you frequently find that you're accessing the internet from a location that doesn't have a strong Wi-Fi signal, you might wanna look into using an ethernet cable for that connection. Another alternative, of course, is that if you're always accessing the internet from a location that doesn't have a strong Wi-Fi signal, you should try moving the router so you can provide that area or that location of your home with a stronger Wi-Fi signal. Also, as I mentioned earlier, if you can, you'll want to use an ethernet cable to connect to the internet when you're online gaming. This is because an ethernet cable will present less delay when processing data and it will result in a less laggy online gaming experience. Lastly, if you find you frequently have to download large files from the internet, either you have to download large files for work or you wanna download a game or an application from the internet, an ethernet cable will allow you to do that much faster than a Wi-Fi connection. If you have any questions about this information, please drop a comment below. If you found this experiment interesting or you learned something in this video, please give it a like. This will ensure that it gets shared with a broader audience who may benefit from this video as well. And lastly, if you like the videos that I'm presenting here, you like the content of my channel, I invite you to subscribe and come along for the ride as I continue to put out more tips and tricks for your home network. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.